Now, I just watched the anime movie Bubble. Was it good? Meh, it was okay. But that's not what important is right now. While I was watching the movie, it reminded me of another subject that brings me joy, and that's Sonic. Now, during the past four dreadful years, Sonic hasn't really gotten a perfect 3D game. The last one was probably Sonic Generations. The problem with Sonic, at least to me, is that it lacks flavors. Flavors such as good controls, stage design, stage length, and probably a compelling story. But maybe it could learn from other sources of entertainment. The movie Bubble, for example. Now, let me give you a brief summary of Bubble. Bubble is a movie that takes place in Tokyo. Tokyo is the only place in the world that seems to be affected by a gravity issue. That gravity issue was able to grant humans the power of parkour. Now the main character, named Hibiki, went to the main source of the bubble, slipped and fell to the ocean, and was saved by the main heroine, Uda. The relationship is somewhat similar to the Little Mermaid. Uda can't seem to touch Hibiki, because if he does, she will turn into foam. Now if you're familiar with the original Little Mermaid, you know where this is going. It's not gonna be happy. So why do I think Bubble should be a good influence for a Sonic game? There are three main reasons. The first is parkour. Bubble was able to show a vast amount of parkour skills and it was amazing. I can't really show clips because of copyright, so either watch the movie on Netflix or watch a trailer after you watch this video. Back to the subject, the parkour shown in the movie is beautiful. Sonic Team should really take note how parkour was performed. Yeah, sure, there was something close to parkour, like trick actions, in Sonic Generation. But it felt like Sonic was flaring in the air. All Sonic did was running in his past games. Sure, it's his main thing, but it seems too traditional. The second reason is the location. It doesn't have to be the main location, but the location shown in Bubble is outstandingly beautiful. The bubble themselves can be used as a platform, and maybe even a certain type of theme that can influence Sonic. It's somewhat ironic since Sonic can't swim and hates water. But water stages can be fun and if designed correctly, become eye appealing. Granted, there were terrible water stages in past Sonic games. But as long as Sonic doesn't suffer with the water mechanics, we good. The last reason is the story. The last time we ever got an emotional Sonic game was Sonic Unleashed. Seriously though, Sonic should at least have a compelling story. Then no one sees Sonic X. Okay, to be fair, the plot of Bubble was one of the weaker aspects of the movie, but it was able to achieve a sort of emotional connection. With that emotional connection, even characters who have a lack of development could become characters that the audience perceive as someone they remember. Granted, this last reason was a bit of a stretch since Sonic is more action oriented, not emotional. But in the past few Sonic games, the emotional aspect worked, such as Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Unleashed, and even the ending of Sonic 06. As long as they make a reasonable and developed characters, an emotional Sonic game could work. The one thing that Sonic games shouldn't get influenced by Bubble is the romance. Or at least romance that doesn't revolve around Sonic and his friends. That did not went well. Both Bubble and Sonic. So do you guys agree with me? If you have your own opinion, comment below. I really want to see how you guys think Sonic should improve. And if I had to rate the movie Bubble, I'll give around 7 out of 10. Please subscribe. I want to try to get 100 subscribers before summer end. Either way, thanks for watching.